coming up. Can you sail into a water spout and live? How do you do this? And can this man fly through this tiny cave? All this and more explained on You Have Been Warned. Across planet internet, self-appointed scientists are filming themselves in action. These internet heroes are doing bizarre experiments, making extraordinary inventions, and creating amazing scientific stunts. We've gathered a team of top science brains to analyze just how they do it, why they do it, and choose the very best of the best. It's science, but not as you know it. So stand well back, because you have been warned. In this episode, we haven't just rewritten the rule book, we've torn it up, thrown it away, and handed out an officially stamped You Have Been Warned License to Thrill. To make it into License to Thrill, I need you to want to be the dictionary definition of daredevil. I'm looking for stunts, I'm looking for explosions, but I'm mostly looking for thrills. You need a taste for terror and a passion for peril, all in the name of science. So now we know how you qualify for a license to thrill, let the thrilling begin at number 20. Hang on to your teeth, because we're about to set our thrillometers to 11. We're in Indiana with brothers Billy and David Worth. That's David on the bike, and hello, Billy in the plane upside down. And this is the moment that gave one million of us a thrill online. Isn't it cool enough just to have a plane fly upside down? Do you really need to have another guy ride with a bike next to it and touch it? Yes, Sard, you do. We caught up with the Worth brothers to find out what was the scariest moment of this audacious stunt. When that tail was right here in my face and it was real life right there. Holy cow, this is insane. This really is insane. <laughs> How can a plane fly upside down just two meters from the ground? When he's flying his plane normally, the wings are shaped at an angle with the incoming wind, which means that the air molecules hitting the bottom of the wing are being pushed downwards. And due to Newton's third law, there's an equal and opposite reaction pushing the wing upwards, which causes lift. When Billy flips his plane upside down, well, now if he were to keep everything the same, he'd be pushing the plane down towards the ground. So in order to correct for that, he needs to tilt his plane so that the nose is higher than the tail end, and that way he can continue to fly. So Billy is flying upside down at 130 kilometers an hour, and now he's slowing down. The last thing you want to do is slow down, because then you could hit your stall speed, where you're not getting enough air passing over the wing, so you're not getting enough lift, and then you drop like a rock out of the sky. Slower is better for visibility. If you roll the airplane upside down, that top wing is right in between my eyes and the horizon. Well, if we slowed the airplane down, the airplane will pitch up a little bit, and it allowed me to see under but over the top so I could see the horizon better. Now you know, it takes loads of skill to make sure this thrill doesn't kill Bill, or his brother Dave.